What's up, YouTube? Paul Fadika here. So I went online this week and I bought MK2866 from four different research chemical websites. Now I'm going to spare you the scientific mumbo jumbo and just tell you MK2866, also known as Osterin, is a performance enhancing drug. It's banned in every sport and by every athletic commission out there. The purpose of it is to lose body fat and gain muscle mass. This drug is in clinical testing right now to help cancer patients whose muscles are wasting away due to their cancer treatment. So at this point you're probably wondering, how the hell do you buy something like that online? Shouldn't I have to go to a doctor, pay a couple hundred bucks to have him write me a prescription that my insurance won't cover and that I'm gonna get ripped off by some pharmaceutical company like every other drug in the United States? You see, the thing is, <laughs> There's a technical loophole in the law, and that loophole is called research chemicals. You see, you can legally buy and sell these drugs in the United States as long as they're for research purposes only and not for human consumption. Which is why on a lot of these sites they'll say, not for human consumption, wink wink. Anyway, let me show you what I got. So, this one is from irc.bio, MK2866 Osterin. This is an alcohol solution that it's suspended in. This one is from Pure Raws, Pure Raws with a Z. This one is from Proven Peptides and they supposedly test all their research chemicals immediately after getting them from some sketchy ass distributor in China. And this is actually a powder form of MK2866. You can get it in a lot of forms, like alcohol, powder, or in capsules. But this one is from nootropicsource.com. There you go, there you have it. So we're gonna be mailing these drugs to a chemist in Tennessee called Col Colmeric Analyticals. And they're charging me 900 bucks to test these four, which is actually a discount over their usual rate. And I know it's a lot of money, but I gotta look out for my friends who might be wasting their money, who might be wasting their hard-earned Bitcoin on these shady websites buying dangerous drugs or just, or hurting themselves. Anyway, let's get going to the post office, guys. We'll be taking the Jeep as always. You know, now that I think of it, I forgot to mention that MK2866 is in a class of performance enhancing drugs called SARMs, S-A-R-M-S, Selective Androgen Receptor Modulators, and I'm gonna make a whole other video talking about those, because that's a whole other topic entirely. More importantly, we gotta hurry and get to the post office before it closes, come on. Always wear your seatbelt, it's a good lesson. Three hours later. Three weeks later. All right, guys, the results are in. But first, check this out. This is a dope ass Pro Lens by Olympus. It's one of the best micro four thirds lenses out there. Looking forward to shooting some pretty dope videos for you guys coming up soon. There it is. Would you look at that? 12 to 40 millimeter, that's 24 to 80 millimeter for a full frame camera equivalent. It's got a manual focus ring, slides in and out between manual and autofocus. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Anyway, I just got the test results back in today, and when I mailed those samples in, I thought for sure at least two or three of them were gonna be fake or be some other drug entirely. But it turns out all four of them were legitimate. Here, I'll show you the test results real quick. Okay, so Pure Raws and Proven Peptides both claim to have 25 milligrams of Osterin per milliliter. Turns out that they both had 22.7 milligrams and 22.6 milligrams per milliliter, respectively. Now, on the other hand, IRC.bio claimed to have 30 milligrams of Osterin per milliliter, but as we can see right here, they actually only had 16.7 milligrams per milliliter, which means that they're actually diluting their product. So anybody who buys from them is actually taking 
half the amount that they think they're actually taking. The nootropic source powder are also tested out 100%. I think that's ironic, because if you go on the SARMS talk of Reddit, they treat IRC.bio as the most legitimate source out there on the internet. All right, full legal disclaimer, guys. I was not paid by any of these sites to make this video. These sites were not aware that I was conducting these tests. I am not recommending that anybody use SARMs or performance enhancing drugs, although I will be making a whole other video explaining them in detail. And I'll also be including links to all four of the websites in the description down below, so check that out. Oh, look, it's my cat. How are you doing? He uh, gets out and wanders the neighborhood every now and then, but he always comes back because he's a little cutie and he loves it. All right, I'm gonna put him back in the house real quick. I should also mention that SARMs and these websites exist in a gray area of US law, and there's no guarantee that the FDA is going to continue turning a blind eye to these. The FDA could bring that ban hammer down real quick on a lot of these sites, like they did with the sales of pro-hormone drugs. So get them while they're still available, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button down there to see more self-improvement videos from me. Woo! I'm working on something real special for you guys coming up soon, but I don't want to spoil it yet. You're just going to have to wait and see. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one.